explain to us what's going on here. We've discovered, or an, an investigative journalist has discovered, that the UAE, Jordan, India, to name a few, have all been spying on us right at the heart of government. Well, to some degree, this is deeply regretful. It's an absolute intrusion in our national security, and we should be taking it very seriously indeed. But this is not surprising that it's came from the United Arab Emirates. The UAE has recently been moving very closely towards China and also Russia. Indeed, it has become a home for Russians avoiding sanctions, Russian oligarchs, and its financial center based in Dubai is actually the main center, it seems, for channeling Russian funds so they can get around the sanctions that we're trying to impose on them to stop the war in Ukraine and try and bring peace and stop the invasion. That's one of the main tools. But it seems that the United Arab Emirates is undermining that. So seeing that they have these close links now to China and Russia, both countries countries with appalling human rights records, it is very alarming that the UAE is hacking Prime Minister Boris Johnson uh, to number 10 Downing Street and the Foreign Office, given their efforts to try and resolve the situation of the war that's currently taking place there. So this is absolutely a massive national security that has global implications. And we've seen how recently the United Arab Emirates owned uh, DP World sacked so many people who worked for P&O ferries and then imported their economic model, uh, one of cheap labour and one of uh, dismissing, dismissing regular staff, replacing them with short-term agency staff. This has absolutely been an affront that they've been imposing on this country and compounding it now with these security breaches. And my organisation, Impact International, uh, impactpolicies.org, we've highlighted these risks, we've highlighted these concerns, we've been showing about how the United Arab Emirates has been this safe haven for Russian money, and that is actually deeply concerning, and we should be very worried and should take it very seriously indeed. Would you go as far as, you know, this alleged hacking, if we find it to be true, would you go as far as suggesting that they might even be working at the behest of Beijing or Moscow? Absolutely, yes, there is that possibility. It needs to be taken very seriously. Of course, it's already been the case that the Financial Action Task Force, the international body looking at money laundering, has been investigating what's been going on in the UAE. It's become a, a safe haven for many criminals and the use of funds and corruption as well. That's the place that they now put their money. And the uh, United States authorities have been deeply concerned about this and the whole direction of the country is moving closer to China, which is in alliance with Russia. They're this home for Russian money and Russian oligarchs now. And so they could indeed be the case that they are looking for sensitive information to help the Russian invasion of Ukraine. That is every possibility about that. And we should be deeply worried. And there's human rights implications of this software. It's used by companies, it's used by governments, it's used to target dissent. Journalists have been killed that have been tracked in other countries, particularly in South America. Anyone could be monitored by this, and it's very hard to uncover. Anybody of interest could be hacked via this Pegasus spyware software. No, My Robert, organization, Impact International, has also been involved Robert, in we're, highlighting we're... this and raising concerns. Robert, we're running out of time here. There is one burning question I have, so if you can keep your answer brief. India. So India is one of the countries named as potentially having hacked devices in Downing Street and the Foreign Office. Now, Boris Johnson's off to meet Narendra Modi on Thursday, I believe. So where does India stand in all of this? Well, India used to be a reliable Commonwealth country, but there's always had this close relationship to the Soviet Union, and they, they haven't actually condemned the Russian invasion of Ukraine. They are in, in that orbit as well. And so if they've been involved in hacking it, Boris Johnson to take a very stern line, because it does appear to be that many of the BRICS countries are lining up against nations like Britain and the United States of America, and the, there are implications for human rights we should be deeply concerned about and our national security. If they can hack number 10 and the Foreign Office, they can be hacking your phone and my phone as well. What criminal elements could be engaged in that? This is very serious. Boris Johnson needs to be as firm on this as he is on the actual war in Ukraine.
Welcome to the GB News YouTube channel. You can watch us live 24 hours a day, catch up on your favorite shows, and join in the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and you'll never miss any of our exclusive content.